The lords and milliers of the royal court, I would wish to regale you now with a spooky vignette from the pen of Mr. Charles Dickens. A Christmas carol detailing the misdeeds of one Ebenezer Scrooge. That's right. That's me. I'm Scrooge. I got all Marley's barley, and I'm the baddest, meanest cat in all the world. All my life I've been learning how to Scrooge people, and I guarantee I have made real progress in that direction. Cratchit! Yes, sir? You busy? I surely is, sir. Well, you keep busy, boy. I don't want no wangling nor dangling round here. I want you to keep everyone straight. And you can tell them two cats who come around here asking for money that they ain't going to get no money from me. This Scrooge you're dealing with here. I ain't putting it out. I am pulling it in. Is that clear? Yes, sir, it's clear. Well, keep it clear. And let me tell you something, Cratchit. You needn't think just because it's Christmas you're going to be sloping off. Well, sir, I was wondering if I might go home early on Christmas Eve just so I can cool the goose. Yeah, well, if you go home Christmas Eve, you're going to have to work all day Christmas. You hear me? Yes, I hear you, sir. Right, well, it's time to go home. So Scrooge, he locked up the shop, and then he's walking along in the snow with the wind, woo-woo-wooing, and he's walking along in his loose soul with his loose clothes and his tight cash money box and his tight cash money mind in his wig, and he get in and he go boom, boom, boom up the stairs and into his room, and he locked the door because there's something spooking him tonight, and suddenly there's a bell somewhere in the house, and it goes bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, bing bong, and he goes, what's going on? And then suddenly all the other bells join in, and they go bing bang, bing bang, bong bing bang bing, bang bing bang bing, bang bing bing bing, and he goes, what's going on? And then suddenly there before him, he sees one almighty spook, and he know that face, he say, Marley. Yeah, it is me. What you want with me, Molly? I know, I know. It's because I got your barley. They said, no, I don't touch no barley no more. I wish I'd given all that stuff away when I had the chance. But I tell you, Scrooge, there are going to be three more gaslight and spooks coming in here tonight. The first one's coming in at one at o'clock. Second one will come in at two at o'clock. And the third one will come in. And Scrooge said, yeah, yeah, I know, three at o'clock. Okay, well, I don't dig that, man. And they said, well, it's not about what you dig, Scrooge. It's about what you've been putting down. And you have been one sorely cat. Them three spooks are gonna gaslight you good and proper and once and for all! And Scrooge says, well, at least it won't cost me any money.